if you, like me, are a far left radical lunatic and you want to be the, the enemy from within, you just have to follow these simple steps. Donald Trump sparks outrage after calling for the army to handle enemies on election day. Democrats condemn ex-president for saying armed forces should turn against the enemy within when voters go to polls. So what he's suggested here, I think we can watch it and listen to it. What are you expecting? Joe Biden said he doesn't think it's going to be a peaceful election day. Well, he doesn't have any idea what's happening in North Carolina as he spends. He was saying, suggesting that Donald Trump's fans weren't going to be completely peaceful because they weren't last time. Why would they be this time? So most of his day sleeping. Uh, I think the bigger problem is the enemy from within, not even the people that have come in and destroying our country. By the way, totally destroying our country. The towns, the villages, they're being inundated. Destroyed towns and villages. The, the, the people, those immigrants are coming in and destroying the towns and villages raided. They need to build a moat, perhaps. But that's not the point of this section. But I don't think they're the problem in terms of election day. I think the bigger problem are the people from within. We have some very bad people. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics. That's me. I'm the radical left lunatic he's talking about. And I think they're the big, and, and it should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by National Guard, or if really necessary, by the military, uh, they, because they can't let that happen. How are you going to guard against uh, the bureaucrats undermining you? Well, they're going to undermine. Term. Well, I always say so. We have two enemies. We have the outside enemy, and then we have the enemy from within. And the enemy from within, in my opinion, is more dangerous than China, Russia, and all these countries because... It's me. I'm more dangerous than China or Russia, apparently. If you have a smart president, he can handle them pretty easily. I handled... I got along great with all... I handled them. You... He handled them. He handled the enemy from within. So, what does that mean? That's some fasci talking points, right? Like, that's just fascism. If I think differently then I'm the enemy from within. I got manhandled, that's right. I got manhandled by that man. Not really, I mean, how did he handle me? He just bitched and moaned on the internet, on TV, in front of a camera. Hello human, it is me, Kanooch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. These are, I think, the five easy steps to becoming the enemy within. Follow these five easy steps. It's very fun, it's very entertaining. If you, like me, are a far left radical lunatic, and you want to be the way, the enemy from within, you just have to follow these simple steps. Step number one, vote. That's number one. That's the number one sign that you are the enemy from within, according to Donald Trump. Voting, blue especially, is a sign that you are the enemy. So anybody who wants to vote, you are now the enemy. He's never been a big fan of that voting thing. If too many people do it, he calls it a scam. If the wrong people do it, he calls it a crime without providing evidence. And his fans don't really respect it either. If they feel like Donald Trump is the best choice, then he is, and he has already won. You don't need all those votes. You don't need all that math. You don't need all the electoral colleges and counting and numbers and arithmetic. No, 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 no. His fans don't like that. They don't respect that. They don't need it. To be the enemy from within, you really have to vote. And then count the votes. And then point to the verified numbers often. That will. That's step one to becoming the enemy within. Step number two say true things. Trump and his fans do not like true things. Nah, man. They like that sweet, sweet fantasy. Uh, Four million illegal Hillary voters. There's no evidence that that happened. Uh, migrant caravans are going to come and steal your job and your unemployment benefits. There's no evidence of that happening. Uh, Trickle-down economics. That doesn't work. We have seen the math, and it doesn't work, but they hold on to it because they don't like true things. Uh, Jesus. I mean, what, do I, what more do I need to say? Not real, not a thing. All of these are big, important fantasies that the Trump fans need to keep within their heads. So for you and I to become the enemies from within, we need to say true things, call out lies, call out falsehoods, and use facts from experts to make informed decisions. They don't do any of these things. They hate that. It's terrible. They don't want it. Uh, number three, render unto feelings what are feelings. Now, this is a, a thing that I uh, have been pushing for a long time. To be the enemy from within, you really need to understand what feelings you're having and recognize them as feelings. You see, uh, Donald Trump fans don't know they're having feelings. To them, everything they feel is common sense. Uh, or they just start from their preferred conclusion, work backward, find evidence backward, and then say they uh, base their opinions on facts and logic. 
we, as the enemies within, know that all politics are based on feelings. There is no mathematical equation proving humans should have freedom. That's just a feeling I have. There's no law of thermodynamics that proves women should be allowed to vote. I just feel like it's fair for them to have that right. Uh, once you start contemplating in your own mind what is and isn't a feeling, you'll be on your path to becoming the enemy from within. Speaking of contemplation, that's number four. Contemplating about what happened in the past, how it affects the present, and what could happen in the future is another sign of being the enemy from within. IVF is a good example of this. Donald Trump didn't know what IVF was. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me start from the end of this story here. Donald Trump says he's for IVF. Why did he say that? Because the senator from Alabama came screaming to him saying, hey, IVF just got canceled by a Republican judge. That Republican judge canceled it because Roe v. Wade got overturned. And the Roe v. Wade got overturned because Donald Trump put Republicans on the Supreme Court. And Donald Trump is a Republican. So what I'm trying to get to here is Donald Trump didn't contemplate what those Republican judges would do. He didn't understand what would happen in the future with the action he is taking today. He doesn't contemplate what's going to happen tomorrow. He only looks at yesterday. Yesterday, there were more Republicans. So that's what we need to do today. What is the effect that you're going to have in the future? Who cares? Shut the hell up. Contemplation is for the enemy. How do you contemplate things if you've never learned anything? Exactly. So that's step number five. Learn stuff. You can't contemplate if you don't know anything. So uh, the next thing you'll need to do is learn things. This will be a big boon for you becoming the enemy from within. Um, that's a big sign of being the enemy is learning stuff. Learning. Trump fans do not learn new info. No. They already know everything. Ben Shapiro used to tell uh, his fans, go to college. Don't believe anything they say. Just say the things that they want you to say. Write the things on the test that are going to make the woke professors get past you. And then once you have your degree, abandon it all. Just forget everything because you already know everything. Why would you go to college if you already know everything? Uh, big brains over there on the right, they already know everything. Uh, another example would be Christopher Columbus. So in America, Christopher Columbus was taught to the school children all up until like the 90s as this superhero great guy discovered america sailed the ocean blue in 1942 yeah, yeah you know the you know the rhyme uh, and because he was taught to those children they then carried that with them the rest of their lives in the 50s 60s 70s and 80s they all learned this so in the 90s when new information came out from the country of portugal they had all this historical data that they had been hiding all that in data comes out we all see it and we're all like oh my gosh he's a beep beep and he captured indigenous women in the um uh, caribbean turned them into literal he literally trafficked them to rich british guys this is bad we don't like that don't do that why do we have an entire day for the beep beep I don't like that we have an entire national holiday for him. Let's change it. That's learning, you see. You are now the enemy from within because you learned something new and then changed a, a tradition. God, no. That's the most dangerous thing you can do to a Trumper. Learn something new, change a tradition. Good God. They will get violent if you try to change their traditions mother of God. Uh, so those are the five easy steps. If there are other steps, I'd be more than willing to listen to them. Tell me what you think they are. Hop into the Discord. Tell me what you think the uh, uh, steps are to becoming uh, the enemy within. Hop on over to the Discord. Pressing the thumbs up button will release chemicals in your human brain that will make you feel. Vote. Say true things. Render unto feelings what are feelings. Contemplation. Learning. Those are the, the steps you'll need to take to become the enemy within. I am the algorithm click on this video to make me happy you wouldn't like me when I am angry.